Don't fill your soak away or trenches with gravel, sand or shingle. Let me show you why. So to illustrate, here's our hole. You've got 100% cavity and it's full of air. So like the hole, you've got 100% cavity full of air and this container is full of gravel and shingle. So the question is, how much water will fit in an empty cavity compared to the one filled with gravel and shingle? Let's find out. So let's see how much water can fit into these tubs. So let's start with the one, the cavity that I've just filled back in with stone. Right, let's see how much water goes in there. There we go. It's full already, look at that. It's full. I can't put any more water in. And what have I put in there? Half a litre? A litre? So what about this? So what's my point? Well, if you've got a 100% cavity, that cavity can fill with 100% of water. When you fill a hole back in with gravel, sand or shingle, you've just done exactly that. You've just filled the hole back in. So instead of having a 100% cavity, you're left with a 3% cavity. So you've just filled 97% of the hole back in. So if that's the case, why do people still fill soak away holes and trenches with gravel and sand or shingle? Well, it's because our dads did it, our granddads did it, and our great granddads did it. That's the only reason. It's traditional, not scientific. So if that's the case, what do you fill your soak away hole back in with? Well, scientists invented something called a rainwater crate. And so what these rainwater crates do, they actually fit into the hole you've dug like so. And the beautiful thing about it is they retain 100% of the original cavity. So that means 100% of water can drain into that cavity. So you're probably wondering what's to stop the soil going back into the rainwater crate. Well, let me show you. This is called rainwater sheeting. So let me show you how it works. Basically, you cut a length to the right size that you need and then basically you just tuck it into the hole around the sides of the rainwater crate make sure that the sheet reaches the bottom of the hole equally on all four sides of the rainwater crate you don't need any on the bottom of the crate because soil can't come back up into the crate, right? The water stops it. So there you go. That's how to stop soil getting into your rainwater crate. So now you can see why I'm so passionate about not using gravel or shingle or sand to fill in soak away pits, right? Because financially it doesn't make any sense. And secondly, rainwater crates and rainwater sheets make hard jobs really easy.